got no ants in my pants. Oh, hey there, welcome back to King's Quest Mask of Eternity. As you recall in the last episode, we arrived at the Baron region, came face to face with a massive monster, got a decent weapon upgrade, and wiped out a decent percentage of this realm's population. And now, we are going to continue by doing more of the same. So, let's get hunting. Okay, we got a few foes nearby. No, look, there's one now. Nope. No doubt, he's not alone. Yep. Boo. Vulture, he's mine. Bye-bye, birdie. Darn it. Anyone else hanging around here? Yep. Bye, have a great time. Let's make a sweep of this shore, make sure we got them all. Looks clear. All right. Let's see what's up this way. A village of some sort. Two buildings. Uh, this one. Hmm, who have we here? I beg your pardon, madam, but may I ask if you are chief of this village? I am Shaman Traveler. I heal the sick, revive the dying, and banish evil spirits. Yay, my magic is so potent, I can even resurrect the dead! For the price of 25 gold coins, of course. I shall keep that in mind, your... uh, m'lady. Yeah, I don't need your charity. I'm an adult. Good day, madam. Alright, let's see what's going on in this one. Journey, whence came ye? I have traveled far, good sir. Most recently from the underground realm of the gnomes. The realm of the gnomes? Mm. Pray tell, where is that? Orion Mountains, I believe, although my directions are assuredly confounded. Regardless, tell me, tradesman, what have you to sell? Not much, I fear. My suppliers dare not enter these parts since the blasted basilisk hath arrived. All I have left are a few weapons, as ye can see. Uh, would ye be needing such? Perhaps. But, sir, what is this basilisk you aforementioned? Oh, what a foul reptile! Tis just across the bridge yonder. It would take nothing short of a champion to slay it. Well, sir, I might have interest in such a deed. Ye? Do ye think so? Verily, I can help! If ye can supply me a black diamond and a strong metal shaft, I can craft ye a pike which can slay the basilisk. It is said only a black diamond can pierce its thick hide, but even so, ye must still locate its only vulnerable spot. Well, I shall ponder upon this matter. Now as you remember, we got the black diamond back from that dragon worm in the realm of the gnomes. I'll give it to this guy later, but first, let's see what he's got to offer. Lousy camera. Uh, let's start with this one. Ye are a clever one, sure. A finer battle axe is not to be found. Indeed, your foes will tremble at the mere sight of it. For ye, a good price, only 500 gold coins, and the trade of your used weapon. I carry a large battle axe. <laughs> or not. 
Now, the thing about this level is that in order to get the pike, you gotta trade in your melee weapon, which pretty much defeats the whole point of buying a new melee weapon. So, don't bother. Tis fair enough, but I must think upon it further. A pity. Well, I shall leave it here if you change your mind. That thing looks kinda neat. Oh, tis a fine weapon, Traveler. This longbow will split ahead at a hundred paces, sure. For ye, I can let it go for a mere 300 gold coins and the trade of your used weapon. I carry a powerful longbow. This is such a downgrade that it isn't even funny. No thanks. Tis fair enough, but I must think upon it further. A pity. Well, I shall leave it here if ye change your mind. Well, that looks familiar. Forsooth, my best ranged weapon. This heavy compound crossbow can shoot farther and strike harder than most others. Even so, since I am impoverished, I will sell it to ye for a mere 400 gold coins, plus the trade of your used weapon. Man, I just exchanged this exact bow for this stronger one. No thanks. Tis fair enough, but I must think upon it further. A pity. Well, I shall leave it here if ye change your mind. I won't. Good day. All right, well, let's see what else is around here. Hmm. What's up this way? Hmm. What is this place? Hey, it's one of those guys I met. Maybe he is a little nicer. Who are ye, Farna? Ye don't belong here. Or maybe not. There's another one up there. Perhaps he has a smidge of dignity. Outlander, go back when she came. Okay, then everyone here is mean. Hey, check it out. This guy's got a massive horn. What's this? An empty altar. What could be missing? Let's ask this guy. Great house. What place is this? Tis the Sanctuary of the Stone of Order, human. Sanctuary of the Stone of Order? But sir, where is the stone? I do not perceive it. Woefully, the stone itself has disappeared. During a storm so vile, we hillmen fled in terror. The stone has disappeared? Tell me, sir, do you have knowledge of its whereabouts? Nay, human, I have not. And sadly, our realm is now fraught with great chaos and turmoil. Now, according to the ancient prophecies, only the rightful upholder of law and order can seek the stone and bring it back here to its hallowed sanctuary. Sir, perhaps I might try to seek it? Ye may try, human, but twould be useless. The stone would only reveal itself to the true upholder. So that's what this is. The missing stone of order belongs here. Hmm, well maybe he knows where it is. Do you have any thoughts as to where the stone of order might be found, sir? Nay, human. I know not where the stone is, and I cannot know. Only the Upholder can seek it. Aye, I understand. Thank you. Well, at least you're nice about it. Probably the only one here who is. Alright, what's in here? Another guy. Is he nicer? Sir, I have need of a metal shaft for a pike. I was informed you might be of help in this regard. I don't do business with Outlanders. Go away! Screw you! God, you take away these guys' stinking little rock and they all become poopy heads. Mm, fine. I am out of here. Jerks. Just a rock. <sighs> Vulture. Mmm, crispy.
better make a sweep of the shore. See if anything's here. Pyro. All right, let's check the rest of it just to make sure we got them all. Hmm. All right, looks like that's it here. Let's head back and take a look at that bridge. Okay, this particular bridge is a puzzle. And there's a- whoa, look at my shadow. <laughs> that was trippy. There are seven blocks you need to pass in the particular order to cross this. Now I have a bit of a cheat sheet to do this, so... The first block you want to step on is over here. Alright, there's six more we need to hit, and they're scattered about. So next, we need to go this way. And then, and then turn this way. Okay. Now, for some reason, you can't use first person here. Which will make this section so much easier than it is. Because you would not believe how hard the camera is being. I don't trust that. I can wait for it to go down. You see, I would have died. Okay, now we can go. I can make that. It's a little buggy, so it's generally pretty forgiving if you... Alright, next one is this way. Make a turn. Now, we want to head around the outer edge to reach the next one. Wait. Turn. Next one is right here. Two left. Let's head back to the other side. That one's gonna go. Yeah, oh, uh, do it. Backflip. Yeah, see? Pretty forgiving. This is the one we want. Okay, one more left. If my stinking carrot would just move. Okay. Wait for it to fall down because I don't trust it. Okay. Last one is right here. And we can now hop across. Who designed this anyway? All right, we made it. Ant. We should take care of him. Just circling around in life. <laughs> Not for much longer. No. No. Give me that. Okay. I am actually going to call it an episode here. I will wait for you right here at the start of the next one. So till then, later.